Hey, how's it going, everybody? Mort here, and we are back today with more Vampire. Uh, we left off trying to figure out who the other vampire is in the area. We know that there's a uh, at least one female vampire who was talking to the good doctor that we talked to. And there's one, uh, at least another vampire that's going around killing people. We don't know if it's the, we don't know if it's the same woman, or maybe it's someone else. Uh, the only thing I've done since I since last recording is I upgraded my health, and I upgraded the damage I do when I bite someone in battle. But other than that, nothing nothing else has changed. So uh, let's get right at it, shall we? Now, there's all those guys in there, but I don't have to fight them. Like, I don't have to go anywhere near them ever. Just kind of cool. Just gonna follow the blood trail this way. I'm really hoping I get a new set of clothes soon because the dock running around is Fresh bad. Blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me. Yeah, can I have the actual thing that's sticking out of him? Damn. Hello. Ooh, something there. So... William, please stop! So William Bishop is a vampire, and the other dude is just being eaten by him. Two-handed weapon, equipped a two-handed weapon, and press Y to use a special ability. The scythe, for instance, can be used as a parry on incoming attack, inflict heavy stun damage. Um... You know, I think we're going to stay with what we got. I don't think we're going to go heavy. Uh, quick. Which I believe a heavy weapon will not, because it's two-handed. You can't use it. That's why the parry is on the Y. This place reeks of bloodshed. And also, I don't know if I can... I mean, I should probably be able to use my vampire abilities, but just in case. Hey, buddy. I must put it down. Okay, can I lock on? There we go. We're gonna hit you with a bit of this first. Ah, oh, God. Get off of me. Come on. Nope. Ah, damn it! I tried to. All right, so that's that's a move I have to I have to dodge that, basically. I jump attack. Oh, I can, I can bite other vampires. All right. Nope. Fuck you, dude. You good? William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. No, you couldn't have. Are you in there? We knew him well. Another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I am a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock. They'll stray without me. Oh! Thanks, Red. Could have used you a bit sooner. Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. You... What do you mean by skull? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. I don't need the sass. Just saying. Little rude. By George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. 
William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Yes, go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. So, that dude in the boat, Sean Hampton, he's totally going to be a vampire later on, right? He's been, he's been constantly fed on, or fed off, yeah, fed off of, by William. So that can only mean that he will at some point become a vampire, because that's how it works. That's I'm assuming how it works in this game. Vampire lore is different all over, mind you. Um, it, it it appears that a bite, if it doesn't kill you, the virus is directly transmitted. So, since he's been, this poor creature he's been. Can't be my maker. Could it be some? subspecies of vampire I must find a place to analyze the blood anyways that's what I was saying so different lore, you know different lore different vampires um usually it's you have you have to um well it depends I guess because I said different words but okay sorry basically some vampire lore is you get bitten you turn that's it done deal uh as you the vampire bites you, you then have to drink from that vampire. And I think the most popular one is you get bitten, you come back, and as when you first come back, you're a thrall. And you pretty much stay that way, and you will die unless you, like, you'll you'll just die a regular death unless you feed. And when you bite your... Fledge Vampire. And I'm assuming that's what we're going with in this one. I think we're going with that third way because if you remember from first uh, part one, we were pretty much sick and groggy and walking around as we were just newly reborn. We became undead. And it, was, it wasn't until we drained our sister, or we bit our sister and drank her blood, that we became Mr. Vampire. Unless I'm overthinking it, and the virus affects everybody in different ways. As in, it, if it, if the virus kills you, you then come back as a proper vampire. If you're just bitten and you survive the bite, you come back as a uh, what the, what she call it a scrawl. Where are we headed? We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was. What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? Oh, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that... Skull. You skull. Not scroll. And I thought skull. you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back. But I will tell you, she values her privacy. Were London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stone, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Reed. How, how do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, a surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it! I had my suspicions. Oh, so not only am I a doctor, I'm a famous doctor. Sample from the corpse of poor William. I was certain. Doctor Reed, marvelous. 
Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. <laughs> and what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Of that, you are right. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate. You're awfully trusting, Doctor. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even clean clothes. So, what do you say? It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Nice. Look at that, a vampire with gainful employment. I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane, for I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a... Oh, good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. What? Someone want to help her? Carry the dude? Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. Phrasing, dude. Phrasing. Wow, we clean up pretty nice. Just saying. It's nice to not be splattered in blood anymore. Okay, so what do we got? Unknown. Sean Hampton. Although we do know her name. Her name is Nurse Crane. So we can't go this way. So let's go this way. Okay then. Rotten or pristine. Each heart contains the spice of life. Drink at this river. Dry it all. Yeah, dude who turned me into a vampire, I don't think I'm going to do that. I have, a, I have the Hippocratic Oath I have to think about here. I'm a doctor. Yeah. Oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bite. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. You piece of shit. Maybe I will kill you. Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right. 
I'm sorry. I am in pain here. We got to spill it out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... Uh, Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. So sinister. Uh, blood quality. The blood quality indicates how much it attained from a particular citizen. The higher the blood quality, the more XP you get. Mesmerize. To drink the blood of your prey, you first need to mesmerize them to lead them out of sight from others. Your mesmerize level must be a equal or higher than the citizen's uh, resistance. How do I just know how to do this? I'm a newborn, how? Bring this fading light into the shadows. Dance with him, the dance of life. Dance like this. No, fine. We're not going to kill this guy. So I'm assuming feeding kills them. No, we're going to release. I'm not being a dick. We're going to release. No more. Not tonight. Not like this. I will oh, that's an achievement. Life. Nice. Sorry, dude. I'm just going to let you bleed out on the ground. I mean, you did have a casual shanking over there, and then you kicked a dude into a river, so... Did I black out? Y yes. You're, um, losing a lot of blood. That's what happened. It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go. But no famished hunter can run for long. I mean, that is true. If I don't find a way to feed without feeding on people and the little nibbles I get during fights, uh, Dr. Reed here is going to be fucked. Anybody? Anybody else here? Okay. Yes, I understand. I discovered the hospital. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide-and-seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. Already making the rounds? That's the Pembroke spirit. I'll ask our porter, Milton, to bring him back immediately. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor, with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. I would like to ask a few questions first. And Mr. Hampton... Always check on your patients, people. How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. Touché. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough, and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. Well then. I'm not going to press any more on that. That's fine. That's that's fine. Thank you, Nurse Crane. Cool. And I thought last time was gonna be a Oh boy. It's too Jesus, there's so many people to talk to. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to end this episode here as it's the 20 minute mark. And in the next episode, we're going to get to talking to every single person. Probably starting with that guy because he's the closest. Actually, she's walking even closer. Anyways, so <laughs> yeah, we're going to end it.
So if you liked the video, leave a like, leave a comment down below, and if you have not already, hit that subscribe button. There's going to be a new vampire video every day, and with E3 coming up on Sunday, the amount of games that are going to be on this channel when they're eventually released. Fallout 76 is definitely going to be on the channel, uh, depending if the rumors are true, and it is an online co-op game. Uh, I will be co-oping that. Uh, Anthem will be coming out early next year, and that will definitely be on the channel as well. Because I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, video. And thank you all for watching.